All right, ladies and gentlemen, this is part two of the Oregon Trail, in which is part of the uh, little playthrough that I would like to call Lord Master's Dream Team, because, you know, the party members I chose to bring with me. But here we are, when we are like nowhere near to the finish, because this, this is becoming a pain in the ass for me, honestly. Because this is under difficult difficulty, and it, it, the game's been kicking my ass a little bit. Uh, it's starting to become a little more manageable, but there's one problem. We are starting to lack ammunition. And ammo is becoming more scarce than ever. They're not selling it here. They don't have them. But, uh, but we do have med kits, and the uh, fuel situation is pretty good. At least to my standards. And med kits is enough to get by. We got plenty of scrap, which I'll likely use this time to um, fix them up. That'll do. One more time. Well, there's a little job I have to do. There's defense. Uh, I say the difficulty is dangerous, but... <sighs> you know I'm gonna shoot a lot with this, right? Get a pistol. Be precise. You missed. God damn it, god damn it, god damn it. Fuck. God damn it. You shot more than you were given. For only twenty-two dollars. That's a quite a penance. No, that's pence. Oh, what is whatever is that word? I'm angry at myself. I'll sell some scrap. Seventy of them. We'll have a lot more money. And what's good with the money if you don't have anything that would be worth buying? With the possible exception of the med kits. Which they're a bit expensive. These There's only two in stock. I'll take it. There we go. I was wondering, hey, why didn't it comply? So, yeah. How much fuel you got stuck? Ten? Oh, ho, ho, ho. I'm taking them all. Screw you people. There. Fuel is no longer an issue. Food is plentiful. Scrap, you can get them easily by scavenging. It's just the ammo. I need ammo. And spare parts. And speaking of which, now that we still have some money to spare, get that upgrade. Yard sale sign. Better chance to find traders. So get it and get a goddamn muffler. And we're gonna rest here for a period of time. Give me four hours and I'll go fishing and then we'll finally get a move on. <coughs> Excuse me. Caught a half a zombie. That means nothing. Got 
God damn it. We got a squid. That's a sturgeon. That's a far throw. It's a salmon. Salmon, salmon. Whatever. Yeah, let's travel now. I wouldn't want to travel when the activity is uh, deadly. Just hope a battery doesn't break down. But if so, don't you worry. We got this thing. Let's put it back there. Better chance to find traders out on the road. Okay, I already have fast to reload. But I don't know about the light supplies. I'd rather go to another big city, which will be Badger City. Decent supplies and sub our last, sub our last, sub our last tires. This one's further away. This one's closer. I think I get the reference. What they mean by Badger City? That's Raccoon City. So must cross an order of zombies. And continue. the order in front of me is currently appeared large sizes, but appears to be alert. All will automatically fight through. Chainsaw windows kept the order at bay, and as I fought my way through, I find I see the grave of some poor soul buried at the side of the road. Stop, take a look. Yeah, dedicated to our Apple JC Plus, replaced 1991, Toronto, Canada. I've discovered seven scrap near the grave. Right. I hide for an hour while a caravan of bandits passes. I question the edibility of some of my food. I toss it out to, to be safe, so some of that food is lost. Heavy fog rolls in. I'm forced to drive more slowly. Stomp, stomp, stomp. Zombie activity is low, and I got caught in a freak blizzard. A cold will tax the hell, and I have to drive more cautiously. But Badger City's just right around the corner. Son of a beeswax. But remember, you do not have much ammo. Get a rifle. Look, there's ammo, but just don't shoot too much, will you? I got my eye on you. Food! More food. This will max it out. More food is always nice, but I'd rather get scrap at the time being, so I can sell some of them. It'll be just... Okay, this one's a shout-out to my real-life brother, Frostlight. Because I was about to say, you know, this is just like how my brother... Which he would play... Oh my god, not again! Uh, where he would play Fallout 3, and there's this guy at Megaton. Oh, I'm screwed, I'm screwed, I'm screwed! Where he would sell the uh, scrap metal to this one guy. 
I mean, I'm sure if you're watching this, but you'll probably know what I'm talking about. So shout out to FF Frostlight, who is on Twitch.com. So he's a Twitch streamer. I mean, not ir I mean, he Twitch is not regularly, but irregular. I mean, he does it every once in a while. Uh, so, I mean, he he lives in another state, Indiana. I mean, we passed through Indianapolis. So. Uh, we drove through your state, brother, earlier in the part one. Anyways, let's keep scavenging. More bullets, excellent. Just don't shoot too much. For the love of God, take out anyone that is necessary to be taken out. If they happen to be in your... Oh, God, more bullets. I'm a glutton for bullets these days. But I fear I may have to shoot some more in order to get him. If he's going to get the food, fine. Just don't let me stop you. Because I'm far more interested in... Well, never mind. I'll just take the food then. Careful. <laughs> oh, that was funny. A few dollars is good. Just running around in circles till something happens. Oh yeah, those crawler things, they can go through objects. Trees, fences, all that. You know, they climb over things. Now continue. We did it while the blizzard was around. Ray makes small talk. Huh. Alright, we're in Badger City now. <laughs> 28 days of liquor. Gun Con, SMR, Dr. Ned, Bread Rising. I get all those references. <laughs> now, what is that upgrade? I forget. Less likely for tires to break. $49. I mean, that's pretty generous. But before you do any of that, any jobs? Kill zombies for food? Come on got to do better than that but I'd be willing to do this for nine dollars pay for food work for food I rather gather all you got to do is run all right don't stop don't stop till you drop See, so didn't need to fire a shot. Oh, no, you don't. Okay, nine dollars. Do you sell ammo for the love of God? Yes, you do. How much? Forty stuff. Okay, I'll take these. Anything just to keep me going just a little while longer. They still have no batteries, but uh, then be willing to take uh, an upgrade, make it less likely for tires to break. I mean, anything that can cause a, a little chance of a spare, so I don't have, of any of those parts, a car parts that breaks down that doesn't make me want to use the spare parts, it would be good, all right? So this is a compromise, all right? There. Now it's the front and back that doesn't have upgrades yet. So this is just more cautionary. But at least this one is just we found it through a maze, which is just dumb luck. Hmm. But at least you all are fine, except for, you know, Anthony Soprano. 
No reason to stick around any longer unless the price of scrap is good for selling, but no, it ain't. Okay, the Ozarks or Wichita? One's longer, the other's shorter. You got lots of fuel these days, so you, you'll manage. But decent supplies means they better sell more ammo. Because I don't trust the light supplies that may not sell the ammo at all. So I'm going to Wichita. And since you're crossing through a rated country, pick up the pace. Rain be damned. Terrible. Go again. Got lots of fuel. Just keep an eye on the health of everybody. Distance isn't the issue when you drive fast. The military vehicle pulls me over and questions me for an hour. Now we're talking. Roadkill. Not again. But then again, you're driving through the Great Plains, which is a pretty stormy region, even during the spring and so on. The military vehicle pulls me over again, and now they took away a med kit. What makes you guys so important? Kate Bishop's got the measles for the second time. I think she would be vulnerable to that stuff, but she'll manage. Ain't gonna kill her. Gas can is leaking. I lose half the can. Hmm. Hope that no, I hope that military vehicle doesn't come over and I think I see someone on the road ahead. Uh oh. Or I thought. I must be seeing things. And she's getting radiation sickness. I mean, obviously exposed a little bit longer than any of us just yet. So now, this is Wichita, everybody. Huh. There's this guy up there. Shooting that up there, and there's one more, and then there's a movie theater out there. You better sell ammo, goddammit. Yes, they do. How much? 120. Oh, yeah. But we don't have enough money, so. Okay. This one will fix up the car, and the other's $48. Woohoo. More money, and then that I can use to get more ammo. What time is it? Yeah, well, I can't be doing that. But, okay. For the sake of my vehicle, let's go hit some bastards. Keep in mind, when you have your SUV, your vehicle, Drive faster, that causes the, uh, you know, the health of the vehicle to go down faster since you're driving through things a lot faster. Alright, it gives it a tune up. Speaking of tune ups, um, Again, don't worry about the ammo. But what you should worry about right now. That, remember that suicide difficulty we had? We got screwed by that last zombie last time. It won't happen again. Get a shotgun. And come up. And then we use that money to get more ammo. Get her around so that way we can utilize that shotgun spread. Well, did what I could. Not this time. 
48 dollars and yeah you shot a lot because it's what shotguns do but now let me sell a bunch of scrap get it down to 28 okay and uh I think I should sell some food, like just cut it down by, you know, a good amount, since you often gather food very, very well. But you have no problem with that, so. Really, that amount of to cut. That'll be all. Okay, so now you got enough ammo where it's not that much of an issue. But don't stay here for too long. Battery. Makes it less likely for a battery to die. Well, due to the lack of spare parts, which in fact you can go you can buy any of these now, but you don't have a battery, but I'd be willing to compromise on this. So there. Now it makes it less likely for the batteries and the tires to break down. So just pray for luck that a battery doesn't get shot itself. And then it'd be good. So, and you don't have that much money anymore. So you blew your whole load then. So, either the old gas station, which we still be under radiation sickness, or get out of there and go to a much longer route towards the castle. Money scavenger. Frick. You know it costs 80 to get a, to get a combat training for yourself. But getting more money is a good idea. So, I don't want to stick around in there. And an action hero thing, that's, uh, that upgrade is, if I remember correctly, you, you, like, let's say, when you fire a shot, you don't lose a bullet. Like, total, that you own. And when you fire another shot, then you lose it. So, god damn it, what do I want more? Money, or not fire as many bullets as you'd like. I mean, ammo's no longer the issue now, unless you're going to be scavenging. Uh, I'm willing to gamble on the old gas station. It'll be the halfway mark of this journey. John Marston spills their drink. Their seat is ruined. I'm getting radiation sickness, obviously. Ray's next. Ray's got a fever. I know, it's hard out on the road. It's a pretty far drive. Heavy ash covers the windshield, which I'm forced to slow down. Raising sickness for everybody. Broken down cars block the road. Navigating the debris takes an hour. Shit! Roadkill. Found an abandoned car, but there was nothing to be scavenged. Well, speaking of scavenging... We're going to do just that. And once I'm done scavenging, I'm going to fix this car up. Watch your step. Since you're going through irrated country, there's some, you know, ponds of irrated water. And then, uh, and watch out for irrated zombies. And of course, they leave a track of radiation. So don't step on it. I mean, it's not going to cause you to hurt instantly. It's just you take boop, 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 and then boop. I'm just making noises. Okay. Here's some scrap. That's good. 
I'm more interested in getting scrap so I could sell some and use some to repair. Oh, no. That's $50 in there. Hold it on to your life. With your life. Oh, Never thought I would see two at the same time. Yeah. No money shortage now. Fine. More food. Yeah. Ah, yeah. oh, got that. Out of the way, damn you. So it's all food, this purity thing. Trying to think of something else to talk about at this time. Yeah, besides the uh, Crusader Kings 3 video series that'll be coming up soon in Lore Master Channel, which I mentioned it during part one of this video, but uh, there's also a few other things of other videos that'll be coming up, such as a few Marvel's Avengers clips, mostly with Kate Bishop. Some of which I've already uploaded, but have not yet posted. Because I haven't found time, or when is the right time, to be posting such things. <laughs> and, uh... What else do I plan on doing? Of course, you know... I just lost my train of thought. Well, at least there's some money, but it's mostly food out here. Hardly any scrap. No, no, no! God damn it! I was trying to get it down, but my mouse was away from, you know, the whole thing. So now I got whacked. Guess it's gonna be me. Again. And now, uh, let's try to, uh, repair. Unfortunately, you only got the scrap once. for how did you what the f oh just get out of here just get out drive we're almost to the old gas station which I don't think I ever been there before as far as to my recollection of playing this game feel like someone or something is following me. <sighs> Am I beginning paranoid too? So this is the old gas station. And I see those two zombies where one's just stepping out of the door and the other's holding a hot dog is what it looks like from there based on that pixelated animation. Frick. See? Chance to not use a bullet when you fire. I would love to have that. Since I have a habit of shooting a lot. What can I do? A battery. Well, it helps. Yeah, but at least it'll get this vehicle fully fixed. We 
Right. CK3, Marvel's Avengers featuring Kate Bishop a bit. What else do I have planned coming up on the Lord Master channel, if I remember correctly? Obviously some GTA 5 Black Widow videos, just a couple of ones that are still remaining. Yeah, I think that's pretty much it. And on rare occasions, I would just play some old game from the 90s and record it too. Because you know I'm a man of nostalgia. Thank you very much. Okay, for the battery. How did you miss? There you go, you only fired four. So, not all is lost. But now you got a battery. I was, I almost, I thought I had a battery. Oh, no, no, no. It's, you bought this thing. So now, all you need to worry about, if, if only we have an upgrade, that would be for the back, which is, it's like, okay, make mufflers less than likely to break. Well, shit. Ah, double shit. Uh, how much is it? $80. It's a tempting thing. It's rather tempting. Or such a thing. <sighs> Selling all the scrap won't be enough. I could sell a lot of food. I mean, you've been you got enough food for everybody. So. Okay, that's a little than I thought. So fine, I'll get it. Now, remember what this is for. Chance to not use a bullet when you fire. Keyword chance. Yeah. Oh, Katie, Kate. Oh, no, no, no. don't call her Kate. She hates that. I remember my references. So, get rid of that. And we'll try to get out of Eurated Country as soon as possible. Talk to Strange Ribbon. If one of your people becomes incapacitated, they will require extra food to keep them alive. We had to put my pod down a few days back on. I can count the day we then have food to get by with him in tow. That's f oh. We'll be heading to the uh, strip club, which is a very long drive. We'll be exit right here, and once you enter to the said strip club destination, then we can start resting up. Radiation goes away. Do a lot of scavenging, then we're golden. And god dang it, they have actually as well. But hey, ammo's no longer the issue now. Must cross the order, zombies. So it appeared in front of me, appeared large size, appears to be alert. Well, we know what to do. Automatically fight through. There's no chance of failure on that one. Have we not found those chainsaw windows in that maze? Who knows what could turn out differently for this one. Oh my god, Kate Bishop was bitten by a zombie. I didn't expect that to be her. I expected John Marston to be next. And we take some food from a vending machine, so free food. Maybe we shouldn't be traveling when it's deadly. Uh, zombie activity out, but I can't rest here. Radiation's everywhere. So I see a zombie by the a tombstone, excuse me, by the side of the road. I told you I was ill. All right, some scrap. It can never hurt. I may have to use a med kit or two and a fuel can went missing, damn it.
I hear gunfire from the nearby buildings. Now John's getting worse. A rumbling sound comes up behind me. All oh, night again. That just gave me a thought. Kate Bishop in by a zombie. You know, there's this upcoming planned project from Marvel Studios that they have something about, like, like the zombies thing that they have, where there are some characters who are zombified and the others who, who aren't yet. And Kate Bishop is actually one of the people who has not been zombified, but is one of the survivors that will try to, you know, stave off this blasted thing. So... Okay, for you, the ones who aren't in green, oh hell, I might as well give that to myself, you wouldn't want to have that in my conscience. How far is it? Still far, but I think we should make it without having to use up more med kits unless something happens to them. I discover one battery hidden poorly under some branches. Alright, we got more batteries than we need, than we need it. Not again! <laughs> Going through the far country where there's nobody around, and then there's a tendency for those zombified deer to be appearing, and then it causes a stampede. As soon as this is over, repair the damn vehicle. Use less scrap. Hope to God nothing bad happens in a few seconds. Strip club's right there. Just drive it up. Get in there. Praise, take of a three. Feel and accidentally ruins it. What the are you doing? That's three. Feel, that's three cans. Damn it. Here we are, the strip club, which I believe that is the halfway point of the uh, of this journey, if I remember correctly. And as you can see, I'm a little tired as far as the sound of my voice is concerned. I don't think it's tired as much as I'm exasperated with the bullshit that we've been encountering. Yeah, we took quite a bit of shortcut through this. We've traveled over 3,000 miles. We still got another thousand to go. Or two thousand. Yeah, roughly two thousand. Depending on the routes you take. Oh, thank God. Anything to make me use less scrap. you do half <sighs> we already have that action hero thing oh the further west you go the more value it is for any of those things that you'd be willing to sell alrighty then man I feel bad for all of you but at least we're out of the radiation so it'll be going away organically so we can Rest up, no need to use these med kits anymore because there's four remaining. Oh man. 
Better hope there better be money out there. And scrap. Two of the most important things. I don't need more food. <coughs> scrap, good. Scrap's the most important thing right now, which I never thought I would say. Scrap is like gold to me. That scrap over there, I think, it looks like a candy bar at a distance, but I believe that's scrap. Yeah, that was scrap. I don't need more food. Fucking more food. I'll let him go. Because I just took that shopping cart full of food. Which maxes it out anyway, as much as how much you could take back. All I want is a scrap. And some money. I almost fired a shot. More scrap. And also I gotta change the pace to the vehicle to go to normal speed. Don't drive slow anymore. God damn it. Fucking cooperate. Talking about it's like the, the response of my mouse whenever you. More than that. <laughs> but I'm happy with the amount of scrap that I've been getting. And I guess there's someone who is, wants it just as important. <laughs> gotcha. Get this repaired. We could use to just go all the way. It'll do. You got any, uh, fuck me? <laughs> okay, I'm willing to say scrap 40. Thank 
you very much. I was hoping you had some more fuel. Because that might become an issue in the long run. We already did all that. Guess we have no choice but to uh, rest here. You know what? Rest here for 12 hours. Because while you rest for 12 hours, I'm actually going to draw my headset a bit. And I'm going to go to the kitchen and get me uh, some fresh water. Uh, actually, uh, yes, I'm aware that uh, all that's going away. Perhaps I should have uh, thought it better. When the zombie activity is high, start moving. There's no reason to wait here any longer. I mean, we should be good now. They don't change. Never break muffler. Oh, all right. That's a good one to have. Either that or... Oh, God damn what the action. Okay, we're going to Albuquerque. But wait. Stop driving so fast. You're supposed to set the pace to normal. Because we've been at this trail for long. I hit a wicked jump and botched the landing. What the hell's the matter with me? Military blockade impedes my progress for an hour. Of course they would. Now I'm more concerned about fuel. I know you can't find med kits out on the field. Found an abandoned car, there's nothing to be scavenged. See a grave of some poor soul buried at the side of the road. Rest in peace, private dancer. Dancer for money. Well, I'm sure you looked better when you were alive back then. Muffler falls on the SUV and uh, place some supplies. <laughs> this is why we're going to get that. When we get there. And they better have fuel cans over there. A gang of bandits came barreling down on me. Oh no. Hit ramps to do wicked sweet jumps. Avoid obstacles to escape. Holy crud. obstacles to dodge. Now we are in Albuquerque. Great. Sixty dollars to go kill a couple of bandits. You better have fuel cans. They don't have anything! 
You sell your decent supplies and yet you got nothing. What the people? What? Ninety-two dollars. God dang it, man. Where it never needs to replace. Okay, give me that thing. That is the last upgrade that we can put on this car. So that way mufflers won't be an issue. Well, we haven't had any issues with the batteries or the tires lately. Okay, give me the bullets and then we're gonna go kill some bad guys. Oh, this pattern's gonna get difficult in a New York minute. I'm gonna get shot doing this. Because it's becoming unpredictable at this point because there's so damn many of them. I wanna get this guy. Switch targets. There we go. We're getting there. I keep missing this prick. <laughs> Too damn scared. I had him. Oh! Well, there goes the, the potential reward, which would have been great for me. And there's no fuel. There's no fuel. How much is it for repairs? Forty dollars. F you. All the way. People are nothing happening. Sons of Baywaxes. One more time. Okay, let's get going. Desert motel or bomb shelter? Medkit scavenger seems tempting, but this is an awfully long drive, so are you willing to take a risk, even though there might won't be any fuel that might be up there? As long as we don't hit, 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 get hit any obstacles. Zombie bits are stuck under the undercarriage, and the smell makes everyone queasy. I wait an hour while Ray vomits in the bushes. Mm, I know, it's that thing from earlier. Found some wild fruit. You know, food isn't the issue. It's the fuel now. As it's just dwindling away now. Notice something going ways off from the road. We'll get out and look. Yes, sure. I walk into a restaurant and see a bald, round-faced man in a chef's outfit, eagerly working in the kitchen. Ah, customers, come in, come in. Have a seat. Please, try my latest masterpiece. Yeah, I'll have some. What do you got? I sit down and have a bite of an interesting pal on my plate. 
It's awful. How is it? You're asking her. I can tell the man is probably at his wit's end is probably all he's left anymore. <sighs> well, I'll tell him it's good. And tell him it's good and if I feel ill. Spectacular. Here, here. Take some more of the food for the road. He hands me some food which is luckily in a can for him. He seems to be quite content with himself and he continues working in the kitchen. It's nice, but yeah, that did not feel good with me. Oh, thank God there's fuel in that abandoned car. That'll hold us off for a while. Oh, oh, oh. There is a God or gods. Oh, grave. Zucky. Bye bye, Zucky. Right in the eye. John Marston sits down for long. Yeah, you'll get a cramp with that. You gotta be careful with that. And Ray breaks a rib. I know, we're driving with a little more urgency. So, we'll stop there because I believe it's about time to get her because. We are lacking in scrap again, and that's my main priority, scrap. And use that said scrap to sell them to get more money, and I guess I'll have to replace action here with medkit scavenger, because we're running low on medkits. Remember, my health isn't good, so I think I should wait an hour before doing anything. Um, I guess I'll use medkit for myself, and then you go scavenge, go get us some scrap, and then we'll be golden. I don't want food, damn it. We got plenty. More food. <laughs> Ammo's plentiful. But if I ever get more ammo, like, say, go over 200, I'm going to start using shotguns again. <laughs> Damn it! I thought I could get away with that. Oh, how much damage did I take? Not much. Just don't get hurt again, okay? Fuel and med kits are now a priority. Oh, I just remember something to talk about now. Something to pass time with. The other day, no, the other night. I think it was on Tuesday night. Yeah, Tuesday night. I've uh, watched a movie uh, that stars Florence Pugh. It's uh, Don't Worry Darling, in which I thought it was a, a, pretty, a pretty interesting film, even though to me the only highlight is Florence Pugh herself. She's the best thing about this movie because her acting is on another level, which is why in the internet, at least in my end, that's why I call her the British Lady Superstar, <laughs> which of course that moniker uh, lady Superstar usually belongs to this South Indian actress Anushka Shetty, which, which she has the right to, that the people would call her Lady Superstar. But to me, I think there's another Lady Superstar out there, and her name is Florence Pugh. <laughs> and you might have also seen her in uh, Black Widow movie and the uh, Hawkeye series as Yelena Belova, <laughs> which I enjoy that character as well for an entirely different reason as compared to Kate Bishop. But, but the chemistry between the two as they were portrayed in the Hawkeye series is just, I really love it. And uh, and that's what caused me to start writing fan fiction. And yes, that's what I do on my free time. I never address this here, that I write fan fiction in my free time. But I only send the writings to those who, who I talk to 
on a personal <laughs> basis rather than send it publicly. I mean, I don't write, you know, smutty stuff and there's very little romance. I mean, obviously that's the problem with me as a male writer. I mean, the most of the writings I tend to write is, well, obviously it's influenced by two things that I was into since 2021. And that's the uh, superhero genre and the uh, mobster genre. Come on, reload that goddamn thing. Okay, you got some scrap. Though not much that to my liking. Wish I could trade away some batteries. What? What are you gonna do? As Tony would say. And Tony has the G virus, which you can only get that if the character has already been bitten by a zombie in the past. Another grave. Here lies my waffles. If I only had eight six, eight off. They ate off from the previous part, you know, that cannibal or different one. 28 food. <laughs> okay. Must be the waffles. <laughs> They're probably rotten by now. Kate Bishop broke her arm. Oh. Oh, God, that's brutal. Regarding that hell penalty. I slow down to sneak past a group of bandits. Come on, we're getting close. Get the damn field and we be golden. I question the ability of room and I toss out to be safe. There it is, the bomb shelter. Vault 101. For the force was here. Is that what it says? Yeah. Now, med kit scavenging. Chances, med kit have a chance of appearing while scavenging. That I would want to replace actually because I don't think this is doing it for me. More bullets and a battery. I gotta trade away some batteries to somebody whenever I get to do some trading to pass the time. Or unfortunately, I'd be shooting more bullets than, than I would. Yeah. So I can't be doing that. That's a waste of time and bullets. But I wouldn't mind taking the uh, other job to get a battery. Oh, now it's different. Now run for the... Okay, they got everything. How many fuel cans do I have? Okay, so how much do you have? One. Crap! But I'd be willing to sell a bunch of food and scrap. I'll sell about 600. Cut it down by half. No cause for the alarm to ration it. So 25 scrap. Okay. Now we will use that to get medkit scavenger and replace with this. So next time we go scavenger, you may see medkits appear. And speaking of which, okay, I'll take one fuel. How many medkits do you have? Seven. Give me an all. Well, three. Well, make it last, all right? Make it last, everybody. Anybody to trade? Two of their med kits and one of my battery. Excellent. You can pass the time while everybody tries to cover it. There's two trades right here. Want six of my scrap for 26 of their food. Now can get food by those means. For my scrap for 20 of their ammo. Okay, we got yourself a deal. 93 of my food for two of their med kits. Yep. <laughs> there, now we're back to normal. Thank you. Now we rest. For the health of the others.
You don't want to be traveling under deadly. Let's go. Oh, I forgot. Fix this damn thing. But use less scrap now. You don't have as much as you used to. Damn it, man. Okay, just get moving. We wasted enough time out here. Next place we can only go is the mine, which is a long drive, but we should have enough fuel to try to make it. Broken down cars block the road. Never get it. Really takes an hour. Someone was in a hurry and left food behind, and I take it. More than happy. 44 ammo went missing. Everyone blames John Marston. <sighs> John, John, John. What the hell were you shooting at? Unless you were bad at handling ammunition. You need to stop right now. Because we need to go scavenge for whatever we can find out here. There's scrap up there. More scrap. More scrap and ammo. Excellent. Now we're getting lucky to the things I need. I know it's going to be a long drive from here to there. Let's just hope we don't lose fuel due to random events of what these guys could be doing unless the fuel got rot or something, which I don't know if that's a thing. Unless that's my... Stupid ass mind talking. But food will be plentiful still. Oh no, you don't. I mean, it's all the food I need that I could carry. God damn it, it's all food. One more time, and we'll drive again. <sighs> Still more food. Damn it, man. <gasps> Medkit! There's one. Guarded of your life. Yeah, you found one. All right. Still got a lot of miles to travel. Tony Soprano spills a drink and his seat is ruined.
Heavy ash covers the windshield, which will force to slow down. We can't afford to slow down. Okay, a little more food then. A fuel can went missing. No! We can't afford to lose no fuel! Otherwise, we're going to be trading. I see the remains of another party before me. Watch out! Zombie below! <laughs> At least somebody had the foresight to give it, it uh, that warning. God blast it, we can't slow down. And damn it, more waiting. And we took a wrong turn. Everything is going to hell right now. I've got lost the backcountry rule for an hour. Damn it, damn it, damn it, damn it. I'm losing my mind here. Look how close it is. Oh, getting it to the empty. Which would be forced to trading. <sighs> That's what you get, John. Of all the of all the party members who would get this Terry, he deserves it the most. For some of the mishaps he did in the past. He deserves dysentery. Following wake of vultures that led me to food. <laughs> okay then. More tombstones. A lot of dead people on the floor. Here lies Jessica Kramer. Underneath that. See you soon. And we got a tire. Now there's the mine. Huh. The mine. Uh, what does this thing have here again? Carry capacity. Carry more food. Okay. That would have been useful if it was very early in a trail, but not anymore. Anything I could do around here? Forty four dollars. Dangerous. Do you have fuel cans? Oh God, no! Oh no, 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 no! We're gonna have a fuel crisis here. This is a fucking nightmare. Just repair the vehicle first before you do anything else. I was a bit off because I wasn't thinking straight. Slight improvement. Go down to four. Double A. All right. It's that. Quite a ways there. I'll use a one kit for myself that I found while I was. Um, scavenging out there. And too bad you can't find no fuel while you're out there, but I guess we'll use this free time to um, go out and scavenge. Whatever you find it in after, when you're done with all the scavenging, start trading. Maybe they'll want some scrap that I'm going to be gathered soon. As I said, we're going to have a fuel crisis here. Nobody's selling fuel cans. And I hope those people, uh, they will be willing to trade. I mean, I should be thankful for getting that yard sale sign as an upgrade. So we can have more people to mooch off of.
<sighs> That's a lot of scrap now. Becoming content with it, but I'm still definitely worried that we'll be getting some feels. I mean, a med kit's always nice. I'm sure med kit will be valued by somebody. Oh, bingo. $50. Oh, no, 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 no. Get the fuck away from me. Not this time, Buster. Two more times. And then we'll have to figure out what to do from here. I mean, at least we'll be getting enough food for everybody while we sit here, eat away our food, while we trade with other people on what they may need and what they'll give us to us in return. Oh shit, shit, shit! Okay, two dollars. I should look at my health. Oh, dollars around the corner. Fifty dollars. <laughs> and plenty of scrap too. Okay. So. Has anybody got fuel? Well, I'd trade two of their scrap for one of my tire. No. You deserve that, Destiny. Wants 19 of my ammo for 40 of their food. That's stupid. 26 of their dollars for one of my batteries. I could get money by any means. 34 of their ammo for one of my batteries. God damn it, people. I want fuel. Two of their fuel for one of my batteries. You got it. 44 of their food for two of my fuel. No. I need at least two more fuel cans and then I should be good. One of their battery for three of my fuel. Are you insane? For the 15 of their ammo for 40, 54 of my food. Yeah, sure. One of their time for one of their battery. That makes a little difference. One of their time for the food. <laughs> yeah, sure. <laughs> Dumbass. Somebody's gonna have to want tires. We'll get moving again soon. Five of their fuel for 58 of my food. You got it, mister. All right, now we can get rolling again. But before we do, I suggest y'all better rest up for a few hours. Just for, you know, everyone's health to recover. Yeah. Salt Lake City. 319 miles away. Decent supplies. You got it. Slow down to sneak past a group of bandits. Spent an hour helping strangers bury their loved ones. Well, I guess I do have a sense of compassion. 
as with everybody else, if they got compassion. Particularly the latter two of Tony Soprano, John Marston, the least compassionate of the two. One's a mob boss, the other's an outlaw. Reyes cholera. Mm. Yeah, water's bad in these parts. The zombie bits are stuck. The undercarriage the smell makes everyone queasy. Kate Bishop broke her armor again. Kate Bishop's got a fever. Look, once we get to there, I will have everybody rest up. And Tony Serrano gets pulled by a wild dog. <laughs> Salty dog. I don't know why, because a guy like him, I can imagine him biting his arm, and he's like, get the hell away from me. Uh, what is it here again? Never break. Less likely to break. It's no need for that. You better have feel for the love of God. No, they do not. Oh my God! What is the world coming to? We're gonna have a scavenge a few times. Let's see if I can find a few med kits and scraps out there, and then I'll sell them for money, which that wouldn't be an issue. And plus, they don't sell much of the way of food either, so that's why scavenging is encouraged. <laughs> Yummy. Hey, thank goodness for that yard sale sign, alright? More people to trade with. You may never know if one of them's got a very, very valuable thing that we would want the most. And that's fuel. Fifty dollars over there. Don't freeze when you shoot, all right? Guess it's gonna be more money this time. Point blank. Oh god, yeah, you med kit yourself up now. I'll scavenge one more time. Oh, not again, not again, not again. Hate those damn things. They just screw you over. Okay, so... So they got no fuel. They only sell scrap. Which I'd be willing to sell some, but in just a moment. Just wanted it full condition all the way, knowing what we're gonna get into soon. It should be good. Rest a bit, two hours, for the sake of these two. You'll manage. What's the next destination? The airbase and oh my god, near 800 miles away. Let's cross an order of zombies. It's large size and appears to be ravenous. We'll automatically fight you as per usual. Without those chainsaw windows that we found at the maze, we would have been overwhelmed easily. Okay. 
the airbase is the second to last place that you get to go to. So keep an eye on the fuel and the food and everybody as Tony Soprano is getting paranoid again. She broke the fever. Stop, stop, stop. Because mm. deadly zombie activity, that's why. Anybody willing to trade? Wants 43 miles for five of their fuel. You got it, mister. Yeah, we should have enough fuel to make it to the airbase. Six of my scrap for 73. Ah, uh, yeah, fair trade. Four of my fuel for 12 of their dollars. No, what the hell kind of arrangement is that? One of their battery for 15 of my ammo. No. Anybody else? <laughs> One of their tire for 21 of their dollars. <laughs> a tire for 21 dollars? That's a hell of an arrangement. <laughs> you got four spare tires now. I ain't got no muffler. Sorry. One more time. And we'll drive again. Spare one of their tire for four of my fuel. Nope. One of their muffler for my ammo. No. Plus, my mufflers will never break. So, you don't have to worry about that. We'll be worried about food in a little bit. But, we got enough fuel. So, we shouldn't worry about that now. Sneak past a large horde of zombies. little food helps. Remains of another party. Here we go again. He would have preferred the dysentery. Hey, a battery. I discovered that Ray had hidden, uh, had some extra food hidden for themselves. Oh, of course you would. Guess we'll go scavenge just the last few times. Now food is a priority here. Be lucky if we get a med kit or two. If I see a shopping cart full of food, then we'll be good. Because I don't want to stay here for too long. Each time that we scavenge around here. Because I'd like to see some 200 some odd food that we just gathered in one sitting. So that we don't make our food situation much easier. This would do. A few dollars is always nice. Med kit. Get it. Just reload your pistol and you'll be ready for whatever comes after you. Keep it up. I just need at least 400 some odd food and it would be enough. Damn it, I have to go that way. Big money. Come on, I need more food. Medkit, 
but they better have more food and fuel at the airbase because I have no, I don't recall how long it is to get from the airbase to uh, safe haven. Of course that would happen. <sighs> Last chance. Been getting a lot of those lately. Oh, crud, it's all the way over there. Crud, 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 crud. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. No, 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 yes. <laughs> Just get the food. Yeah. Huh. What luck! There. That'll sweeten the deal. Don't worry, Kate. I'll treat you soon. Should anything bad happen to you. And more free food out of the vending machine. Just over 200 miles to get to the airbase. What's going on out there? I wander into uh, an abandoned hospital building. Evidence of the zombie outbreak surround me. Um, corpses fill the body bags piled high on top of the, make, the top makeshift beds. The empty ones make me the most nervous. The place has been turned over. It doesn't look like scavengers where I've missed any useful supplies. Just as I feel ready to leave the sad scene, a cry echoes from down the hall. I'll investigate further. I walk down the hall towards the cry. It becomes louder and more distressed. I also start to hear the heavy pounding. The sign above the door reads, Maternity Ward. I go through the door. I find a healthy human baby in an otherwise empty viewing room. A couple huddles uh, at the other side of the glass, staring at the baby like a fish in an aquarium. The couple are pounding on the glass, which is beginning to crack. I gotta kill that couple. The other zombie does not appear to care about me and continues to pound on the glass. I walk up ahead and shoot in the head. Now I decide what to do with the baby. Well, I don't know if any of you are familiar with this sort of thing. I'm talking to you party members. If anybody had any experience of parenting, it's Tony and John. So take it with me. Another mouth to feed. Yeah. But... Food's not that much of a concern. I'm sure Kate and Ray would be quite amused. And at the same time, they'll be like, Oh, baby and all that. Oh, not again. What's going on now? I see a shady-looking fellow with a game of cups set up on the side of the room. Care to try for your luck? Two out of three chance to win. Only $20. I'll try my luck. Find a blue ball, win a prize. Find a red ball, win a grand prize. He lifts the cups and shows you the location of the balls. He begins swapping the cups with a flurry of the hands and the cups of likes which I've never seen before. He stops. Which cup shall it be? I'm gonna say the left cup. A red ball. Want a car upgrade. What car upgrade? Never a brake battery. Bing, F and go. Choose of which to keep. Now we're good. Okay, stop. Oh my god. What? As I approach, I see a man holding a sign. The sign reads, Answers. He shouts, In this godforsaken land, I have the answer to all your questions. Approach and be enlightened. I shall inquire. I'll tell you why the dead walk amongst us, my son. It's all from an evil corporation developing a new genetically engineered DNA co recombining beauty line of rejuvenating products. Spread the message, my son. And then we're both 
children of God in these forsaken times. Do you think you could spare some of your time as it wishes? My flock has strayed from the path. Uh, me, I'm not that much of a superstitious person these days as I used to when I was younger. I shall inquire further, but like, just let the man grant. I've been keeping a group of believers in the building north of here. They recently exiled me from the community. They have taken to worshipping the dark arts. I know it's a lot to ask, but if you could kill all of them for me, you would be doing God's work, my son. <laughs> yeah, sure, let's do it. I'll kill some of these fellers for you. Get a pistol. Bless you, my son. It's not much. Here, have this. One food. That's it. What a waste of freaking time. Okay, Kate. You get a med kit. And I'll have one for myself just in case something bad happens to me if I did something stupid. I met a charming old man and lost track of time. How many old folks are on that road? We're almost to the airbase, so... Just hang on, all right? I know the zombie activity is there, but we ain't stopping. We ain't stopping. Kate Bishop didn't close the trunk and a tire fell out from the back. Ah, don't worry about it. We got lots of tires. Oh, clumsy girl. I discover one of my gas tanks is filled with water. Oh, god damn it. That means it's useless. Oh, now we're at the airbase. <laughs> this is the second to last stop towards the final destination. Safe haven. You better have fuel in there. They have everything. Okay. But first, one muffler. $28. Okay, take the $28 first. Just go, go, go. You'll get everything what you need through there. This might be a two hour video, but I ain't stopping until this playthrough is over. God damn it, god damn it, god damn it. F off, all of you. Back off. Just lost my patience with this. Oh, not you. Here it is. Pay me. $26. I thought it was 28 but I guess it must have misread. Okay, so I got lots of scrap. How much is $5? You got it. We're going to have everything we need. Sell a hundred of them. I know it's a lot of clicks, but it'll be worth it. We'd be making bank here. We're going to buy everything we need. Five hundred dollars. Yeah. Get the fuel. This is about as much as it'll give. And get a lot of ammo. <laughs> and some med kits too. Holy crud, they're expensive. I mean, uh, we do have uh, quite enough, so we'll rest here for couple of hours and then we'll drive up I just want everybody healthy that is all I ask you sell food right how much 70 okay I'll take it yeah we'd be shopping big around here So I hope this should be enough to get to the last place. I mean, look of here. Almost there. It's been a long, arduous journey, but it's almost at its end. And also, we got to fix this vehicle.
Come on. At least the zombie activity will be low by the time we set off. Should be good enough. Okay. We're gonna home stretch it here. We're gonna drive as fast as we can. We may not have that much food, but we'll make do. It's about 450 miles. We should make it. Pile of bodies block the road, oh, of course. Then we're gonna drive fast this time. John Marston gets nervous and asks me to drive slowly. No, we ain't gonna drive slow. We can't slow down. We can't slow down. Here lies Blavi Dare. Uh, uh, dare not wake her, or she will be crabby. Hey, a tire. Hey, at least we make up for that tire that Kate Bishop lost. Yeah, we'll be coming in with low food. And we better have a big old feast when we get to the safe haven, which is right there. Ooh. Kate Bishop is super dysentery. Oh, that's because it's due to, like, when you get dysentery, and if your character's been bit by a zombie, then you got super dysentery. Oh, well, we've already stopped here at, uh, safe haven. Oh. Oh. Hey there, welcome to Safe Haven. I let you in, but our power grid is down for maintenance. You need to power the bridge if you want to get in. There should be an old gas generator and some fuel lying around. Go gather it up and hurry. It looks like there's a horde heading this way. Gather fuel and bring it back to the generator. You can carry two at a time. Party will place you if you fall. And they will provide covering fire from the station wagon. Get a shotgun. You got lots of ammo now. So make do with it. Get ready to move. Move. And yeah, it's John Marston that's going to be doing the shooting. He's the only one that had experience in killing zombies. As a reference from Undead Nightmare. Don't get hit. Remember the next two over there. Cover fire, people. Get moving in a sec. All right, let's move. There. Don't fail me now, gun. After these two, then the final two is way deep in there. So don't be afraid to shoot the f*** out of them. You don't have to be conservative with the ammo anymore. Now we got a raid at zombies. Great. 
Just shoot any single thing you see out there. There's one. Yeah, we're gonna hold stretch it here. Start generating and enter safe haven. But that's not it. Look. Just dodge. And now, we shoot. Okay, now, this is gonna happen a couple of more times. Gotta shoot in a certain pattern. Some would think this final boss fight, based on experience, is like the easiest to me. If you played this game many more times. Entered safe haven. There, there's the final score. Baby bonus. There it is. <laughs> Over 20,000 is that total score. So now we're done with that. I don't need to look at the leaderboards because it doesn't really register on my end for whatever reason. So, there's the uh, final credits for this thing. So, we hope you uh, people have uh, enjoyed this quite of a playthrough with me and my dream team. I'm glad nobody died. Only two got bitten. It's just some people were pretty uh, reckless. <laughs> More reckless than I could <laughs> imagine. But, hey... I had fun. I did say at the very beginning of this playthrough that, that this would be fun. Because I was expecting for this game to uh, kick my ass and everything. So, so that's it for, for the Halloween edition of the Oregon Trail. And there will be many more videos to come of whatever I may post in my channel. Such as the upcoming Crusader Kings 3 playthrough, some GTA 5, a little bit of Marvel's Avengers, Red Dead Redemption 2 Online, all of that good content that you can only see here on the Lord Master channel. Ah, listen to yourself being such a shill. But, but as soon as I'm done recording, I'm going to have a big dinner because this has taken up a, quite an afternoon for me. So, we'll finally skip here as we don't need to run over every single thing. You've seen the credits before in my past playthroughs with this. So, so that's it for the Oregon Trail Complete Edition, everybody. So, we hope you people have enjoyed it. And we'll see you whenever... Well, by when we see you, you mean you'll see me. In a way, to do whatever I do in the YouTube channel here. 
Oregon Trail, Oregon Trail, Theater King, the, all those games I mentioned before and all that. You can see it all here on the Lord Master channel. And we'll see it when, so, oh, just see us next time. But until then, so long for now.